Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today we're going to show you how to get free apps right from the App Store. It's a city of tweet called App Shape. And this App Shape you can get in the city of store. And let's open up city and I'll show you what actually happens. You actually open up the App Store, the legit App Store, and then there'll be a link there in order for you to get third party links to install apps. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me tell you right off the bat that I actually don't like it and I'll show you why a little bit later in the video so don't go ahead and follow me wait till the video is over and then you decide for yourself whether you want it so you're gonna type in app shape of course you're gonna have to have the insanely repo or the bite your apple repo uh, they're both the same version number beta uh, 2.0 beta 4.2 and then in the other one same exact thing and there's another thing that you have to load and it will automatically load when you download app shape is the lib app shape and that's a app shape core library so let's install it from insanely you can choose whatever one you want to install it from and we'll hit the install button and you'll see that you download app shape and lib app shape okay so let's do that We're actually going to respring. Okay, now you won't notice anything on the desktop. You go into settings and you look at all your tweaks and you see the app shape store. So it has a download percentage and hide if free. In other words, if it's a free app, it won't show you. But we'll just keep it on um, actually let's hide it free because you rather download the legit app from the app store if it's free because you know then there's not uh, you know it's not been modified or anything like that alright so basically that's the only control settings you'll find so let's close it out and now you say to yourself well now how does it work well you open up the app store and then you'll notice when you look for a app okay Say we'll go into paid apps, okay? So we'll go into uh, top charts, top grossing paid, okay? Now, if you go into one of these uh, apps here, like say we go for this 99 cent one, now you're going to notice a new button there, app shape, okay? So you could download this legit way by hitting the 99 cents, or you could hit the app shape way. And basically, it'll open up a little dialog, and it'll have a bunch of links that you can use in order to get this to download. I always choose billion uploads. I like the interface there. Um, I don't do this often, but when I do it um, to test out apps, this is what I do. So you hit that little button at the bottom there, and then you hit the big download button. Now watch what happens. You hit the install. And it'll take you out, and you'll see it building, just like if you would have purchased it from the Apple Store. Sorry about my screen resolution. There's something going on with my Wi-Fi. Uh, but basically, it installs, and you can go ahead and do other things while it does that. Sometimes these apps take a long time to install, but you'll see that these apps work. So let's go back in real quick. I want to grab another one, and then I'll show, play the apps, and I'll show you that they work. Uh, there's a new game that I've been dying to try out before I buy it um, and don't see it here hmm. all right maybe it's back up on top here and I ah, hear it is impossible road I love that I, I saw reviews on that and I thought it was pretty awesome so let's now go to billion uploads again um, I always default to that one but you can try those other links yourself and then go here and then you hit install and there it is building up on your springboard downloads pretty fast these are smaller games let's try something a little bit more beefier like infinity blade or something infinity blade 3 I know that that's gonna take a long time and sometimes it just feels like it's just not gonna do it um, but in actuality when you restart your device it does it now I'm at the end I'm gonna show you the 
the the negative of this and why I don't like it. Um, well, I can't seem to find Infinity Blade. Where are you hiding? You know you can't hide from me. You can't hide from me for long. All right. I guess I'll type it in. So now here, well, let me show you the problem now. Why I don't like this tweak. You go to hit your search button. It's dead. Completely dead. All right. You go to hit your updates because I know I have legit updates. And spam pops up. All right. So then you say to yourself, wait a minute, what the hell? Uh, go to top charts again. And now another spam pops up. Now, the way to solve this, I mean, if you really need to get these apps, you can go ahead and do this. Load up a bunch of them. Uh, of course, just stayed in the paid top grossing or whatever. And then when you're all done and the apps are there, just restart your device. Go back into Cydia. Remove these two tweaks. And then your app store will be back to normal again. But you'll still have those apps that you downloaded. So let's forget about looking for Infinity Blade. We'll just go ahead and we'll play this game. And we'll see what happens. Let's see if it works. So it'll take a second. It's going to load terrain. And it appears to me like it's not crashing. Of course... because I, sorry, I kept the volume up. It seems to be working, and um, it's not crashing. So let's try this next game here. Let me see if I lower the volume. So this game works, but like I said, you have that problem, uh, you know, when you try to click on your buttons at the bottom. You just can't do it. So let's play this game. I think you have to push it with your finger or something, right? Huh, I suck at it, but you know, I never played it before. This is my first time playing it. But as you can see, it works. So now if we get back out, and these are able to sync right to your iTunes, make sure you have AppSync 7.0 Plus as well, because I, I don't think you'll be able to sync these right in uh, without that. But like I said, I don't like the fact that it kills my buttons at bottom. Oh, it actually let me do it now. But originally it killed my button. Maybe that was just some sort of, uh, you know, abnormality. But look, it's working now. That's good. That's great. So let's now go into uh, some other game. Let's try cut the rope. See what that brings us. You got your app shape button there. And it says it cannot connect something to do with Wi-Fi. But don't worry about that. Just hit cancel. And this will load up. And I guess it won't load up. So let's try another one. I'm not saying these things work. But the hit works pretty cool. Uh, it's nice to be able to be in the app store. And see the apps and what, the, you know, what they cost currently. Let's try Lego Batman. Uh, that's always a fun game. So let's go to App Shape. It's a $4.99 app. Definitely should try this. Uh, let's try Billion Uploads again. And it's not found. Let's try another source. We'll go to um, this one here. And it appears to be there. So we hit the regular download. And we're going to put in our CAPTCHA maybe. Uh, it's not good that this is not full screen. I wish it was, uh, but you can shrink it down. So let's see, it's telling us that we have to wait uh, in free mode four hours. You know, I'm not going to do this. It's just too much to put on a video. But you go ahead, give it a try. I can't promise you that it won't mess up your iPad. Uh, don't use it on a device that you, you know, rely on daily. Um, like I do with my iPhone, I always test out these sort of tweaks on the iPad because I can always restore it and really not miss out on anything. So anyway, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. The app is called App. I mean, the tweak is called App Shape, and get it on your in uh, insanely repo and your bite your Apple repo. Have your app sync 7.0 plus, and you have to have that other 
tweak that I showed you early in the video. So I'm going to remove this now, um, but you can keep it, do what you got to do with it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if it worked for you. Uh, let me know that if you downloaded 10 of them, that six of them worked. You know, let me know. I, I like to know. Uh, and then maybe when the new version comes out, they'll fix a couple of things. Who knows? So have a good day. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.